Coming at you. Sorry, old clubs. Fish and business. I miss Ricky going to church with us. Well, they're grown. They can go where they want to. I miss him, too. Mm -hmm. You know, the only reason they made you mad what? is because you're so handsome. Oh, mm -hmm. is that it? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to figure out why. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> How bad is this hit and run? I don't know, Billy. I only been down here. Victim in the hospital? Uh, bodies up the road a piece. Near the church, to say. Look at that track. Something damaging the vehicle. Leak or a bent tire rubbing. Take us right to the guy's house. Piece of cake. See you in a bit. Even though I miss the kids, it's nice to have the house to ourselves sometimes, you know? So we can, uh, 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 We can't keep Dad waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting on you. Come on. <laughs> So, baby, about dinner. Ricky's coming around four. We're gonna eat around five, so if you wanna help cook, come early. Mm -hmm. And can I go home and change after church? Yes, you can do whatever you want. You're a grown woman. Good to go. Official business. See you at the house later. First, I thought that when he got hit, he got caught up under the vehicle. Mm -hmm. That's how come these tracks in the road. His body? May even be worse than that. He had these gouge marks on his ankle. So I come back here where the track started mm -hmm. and then down off on, onto that logging road there mm -hmm. and looked like a scene of a scuffle. <laughs> What are you saying, Billy? He may have been dragged. Let's see, that's about uh, three miles up to that church. Are you saying that his body was dumped up there? 
Looks that way to me. You know who it was? We found a wallet. Checking the fingerprints now. Still no answer. Yeah, that's called the only way over. Here, put the greens out on the table. Yeah, OK. Hi, Daddy. Ah, oh, baby. Hey. Hey, Mama. <laughs> Mama, sweetheart. Yeah. Have you heard the news? Where's your brother? Parking just as I walked up. Terrible what well, we've been here. Your son ain't answering his phone. Probably hung over. Hey, Pop. My boy. How you doing? Hey, I'm good. You? I'm all right. I'm all right. You, you hungry? Me? You know that. <laughs> hey, baby. How you doing? Hey, Ma. Hi, darling. Mm. You heard they beheaded the black man last night? They passed through your church, too? Mm -hmm. Stop the service. Now, Reverend Lyon told all the young men not to go out alone for now. I think. It was revenge. For that thing last week. Mm -hmm. Black man shoots his white boss and somebody's head gets cut off. Come on, y'all ain't nothing but rumor yet. Hmm. Well, y'all want to eat or wait for sun? No, I'm ready to eat now. No, I ain't waiting for the Oh, wait, there he is. I'm, I'm tired of waiting bread, for him. Playing his foolishness. Mom, better fix him a plate, because you know he's going to be hungry. <laughs> son, go. Should I, I come in? Yeah, yeah, come on in. Shh, shh. see what? Oh! Nah, I'm gonna come with just yet. I'm gonna wait. Afternoon, y'all. You arrest son again? No, ma'am. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know any easy way to say this. Your son, James Jr., is killed. Oh. What? What happened, Chef? What you... We don't know all the details, but we have reason to believe he may have been murdered. Oh, oh. oh Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I give you my solemn promise that I will not sleep until we find out who did this.
you don't pray together. Cigarette butts, baseball cap, nut driver, nut driver with SB engraved in it, and lighter, lighter with possum on the bottom side and some weird triangle on the top. SB, think about it now, SB. SB and possum, Sam Brown. Stu Bullock. Son of a bitch must be 80 years old, I doubt it. But good thinking. Listen, we're thinking. That's the main thing. Billy, we got something. Y'all need to hear this. This here's Stephen Scott. I don't want to tell the sheriff what you told me. Oh, no, you can tell him. Stephen, is it? Yes, sir. Well, Stephen, go ahead. Tell me what you got. Around 1 in the morning, I saw James Byrne. Walking, hitching. Then these men in a truck picked him up. And you just happened to be there then, boy. Charlie, will you shut your mouth? Stephen, don't pay no attention to him. Did you see who it was? They were white. What about the truck, Stephen? What about that truck? What color was it? It's OK. Light or white or tan or something. Step side. Muffles loud. Well, you done good, Stephen, to come here. And I want to thank you for it. Anything else you think about, you get in touch with Sergeant Carter here, OK? You take him in, get a little statement, and have him sign it. Thank you, Stephen. That's the first good lead we got. That's a hell of a lead. It's just too easy. I don't trust it. What, you don't think it could be a white man? OK, we got something to go with now. Joe, working on in here. Take a look. SB. Right on. What the heck is this symbol here? Sean Berry. He got himself a great primate pickup. That could look light enough. Here's a man who was thinking on the job. Too bad I promoted you. Hey, you can do it again. Don't push it. OK. Sean Barry lives with Bill King, don't he? That's right. Bill he's King old. calls himself possum sometimes. Has them tattoos. Yeah. This here is a. Uh, Klu Klux Klan deal. Forget about the triangle. This is three K's with their ends joined together. I think we got us some trouble here. Tell all units pick up Sean Berry. This is it now. Here we go. Why don't you go on over and visit the buds and we'll all wait till you get back. I oh, see, he'll be here any minute. Oh, don't do that. You know, the problem is just stop to get mom some flowers. Right. <laughs> you know, uh, we're just folks buying guns for their protection and they can patrol this side of town. Lord knows what that's gonna provoke. Go on over to the birds. Boy's gonna be here any minute. I don't know if you keep saying that. You think you're the only one word? Daddy, it's gonna be all right. Something smell good. What's wrong? Where you been, boy? I had big car trouble. Now, did you forget your manager? When you're late, you call. You hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you. I hear you.
Cause y'all, we ain't never gonna figure out why. That's for the police in the car. And why God chose for this to happen, we ain't never gonna know. We just gotta trust and obey him. Now, ain't that right? Oh, Mama. Amen, Mama. amen. Amen. If ever you need anything, please don't hesitate to. Uh, RC. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. Look me in my eye. Mm -hmm. Oh, me. He was going to get who did it. But. Oh, I, I hear you. Nah, I'm going to be on top of it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it's a lot of talk about guns and revenge. Mm -hmm. We don't want no more violence, I see. Me neither. We just want you to try to keep the peace no matter what. I do it. I see. Gotta make some, uh, some plans for at the funeral. Will you take care of everybody? Come on over to your parlor. You should be the one to do it. He about growed up with your kids. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing? Yeah, you talk about some things. What things? Y'all come on down to the station. <clears throat> you don't want us to question here right in front of your friends now. We don't care. Go ahead. <laughs> Dispatch. Now, Bill, we can sit here and wait for this paperwork, or you can just come along. Dispatch. Your choice. Officer, do you need assistance? Come in, officer. I ain't got no reason not to. Cancel that. We copy. Yeah, keep your beer cold for you. <laughs> when did they know him? Why'd they do it? You're sticking to this door. They were just out driving last night. Well, you know, folks are saying they were. Uh, they found a note on them talking about uh, one down, two to go. Don't know nothing about that. Billy said when he finds out, he'll let me know. And you're sure it's just the three of them? I don't know nothing, Walter. Billy just wants me to help reassure the people that suspects are in custody. And all you reassured I'll see is Billy up to solving this, and what happens if he isn't? Walter, well, you're real good on questions. How you fix for answers tonight? Huh? Mr. Social Activist? Huh? I'm sorry. Fine. Now, the question. And they're gonna concentrate on this uh, boy, Barry. He seems to be the weakest link. Now, I hate to be rude, but I gotta go to the, the mortuary. Oh, you got James's, um... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's all right, I got to get home myself. Rose says she's scared, so... Just follow my lead. It's your show, Billy.
You know who I am? You're the DA? Well, the sheriff and the DA, they don't come down here in the middle of the night. Unless it's awful serious, bad fellow. Sean Barry, look at me straight in the eye. You're so scared you can't even breathe. And you got a good reason, too. You got a damn good reason. You know why? Because we know, we know, we know, man. We know the story, we know, we know what happened. Now, let me share something with you, son. We ain't got a case on them mother two. We got no case, but we know they were there. But we got that black guy's blood on your truck, and we got your tools at the crime scene, and right now, you are facing a capital murder charge. You got that? Let that just sit with you a while. Capital murder. And we know, Sean, that you ain't like those other two guys. We know that. I mean, look at you. You can't even breathe, but it's going to be your ass. It's your ass, son. Now, if there's any deals to be made, the first person to talk usually gets the best treatment. Isn't that right, Billy? That's right. Now, you had best think about that. You tell us from the beginning, Sean. We was driving. Wait. What deal do I get? That's all you got to say? That's all you got to say to save your ass? Son, you are up for a capital murder charge. You know what that means? You want to try this again or not? That's a little smart. Tell me from the beginning, Sean. We was driving. We picked up a hitchhiker. Y'all going to town? Yeah, man, we're heading into town. You mind if I hop in? Sure, why don't you hop on the back? All right. We stopped by Old Huff Creek. started it. I tried to leave, but they started that other stuff. driving and next thing I knew I looked back he was not there. Look we just wanted to fuck with some digger. He just got out of hand is all. Hey. 
That's a start. One of these days, you're going to wake up in such pain because of what you've done. Let us have this room, boy. Yes, sir. Come to you. Mm -hmm. Instead of calling you. Yeah. We got us a confession. Oh, yeah. It was just them three, and it was racially motivated. Anything going on between them and Jane? Just a random victim. I don't know what a hate crime is. I mean, exactly the strict legal wording, but I think that's what we got here. We picked a hell of a time to get elected, didn't we? How many uh, murders did you work on? Just that one last week, and now this one. Just two, huh? Right. We didn't work no murders in the highway patrol. I called the FBI down in Beaumont, and I told them. I said, this country boy needs some help. Well, I'm going to send this buddy down there get me some expert autopsy. I'm going down there first thing tomorrow. They're sending agents up here. This ain't going to fall on us, Mr. Mayor. The feds is taking this one over. Well, they damn well better. Jasper, KJAS Radio, bringing you the latest updates. The police have still not released the names of the three white men being held in custody for the death of James Byrd last night. Sources inside the sheriff's department refuse to confirm or deny racism as a possible motive for his death. They do confirm, however, that no charges have been laid pending further investigation. Sports and weather up next after this classic from 1975. Kathy, I'm almost to the office. Get ready for a surprise. What kind? Oh. Oh, shit. Sheriff, Sheriff, can you make a comment on what he's going to be in charge with, sir? Sheriff, Sheriff, are these three men in the plan, sir? I can't make a comment racial, on anything at this time. Sheriff, sir, do you believe that there are more suspects around, sir? I just got to get my office right now. So, uh, Mr. Mayor, is Huff Creek Road, is that in the town or in the county? It's the county. It's just right on the edge of the city. But what that got to do with what happened there down the road? Now, is that maintained using federal funds? I don't right didn't know. You're going to have to ask the city manager about that. Yeah. City manager. And how do I get hold of him? Excuse me? Kathy, messages? A whole bunch. More to come. Ooh. Sheriff Don Clark, FBI Houston. Hey, Don. Good to see you. You're going to have to hold a press conference. Oh, no, this is your deal now, not mine. No, we're just up here to help process the evidence. I just come from your office in Beaumont. Until jurisdiction is established, This is a civil rights violation, so it's on to you guys. Good to see you. Right. He's over there in City Hall. That's where all the all right. city managers. So, uh, his number will. Well, oh, wait a minute. What, what has that got to do with what happened in the road about that? The Attorney General's office doesn't think there's enough facts yet for it to fall under hate crime law. What kind of facts do they need? Mr. Murray. Yeah. I mean, the man was killed because of his no, color, no, wasn't he? Just because he was black. It's plain and simple. You heard that, son of a bitch. We went to fuck with an end. There was no other reason, and that's why. As long as the FBI. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Still has to be sorted out, Billy. In the meantime, you need a press conference. Who's your media person? <laughs> Look around. I'm just a little bitty outfit. Well, I brought my media guy with me. 
And based on the facts so far, he's drawn up a standard statement. All you have to do is read it and avoid specific answers. Just say no comment, that sort of thing. A full spectrum of law enforcement agencies on both the local and federal level are involved in this investigation, which will be exhaustive and thorough. But at this juncture, it would be premature to speculate beyond the he in heinous cr nature of the crime as we understand it at this point. Well, you know, given our employment rate, we should be getting, you know, more Section 8 housing funds. Excuse me, Walter. I think you better turn on KJAS. OK, thank you. Uh, well, I appreciate your sympathy, but I would uh, prefer housing funds. Other than murder. Yeah, well, but how long is that going to take? No determination has been made concerning additional. Is that Billy Rouse? be brought against the accused pending further investigation of their possible uh, connection to extremist movements. That's it. Sheriff, Sheriff, can you tell Sheriff, me Sheriff, Sheriff was Sheriff. this a hate crime? No comment. Sheriff, what's this race? We're looking into all this deal. This case under investigation. Is there Ku Klux Klan in Jasper? I'm not aware. Uh, of any clan. He's here. not telling the truth. Yeah, well, then thank you, Thelma Davis. Mayor, what about you? Do you agree with the sheriff? It's their clan here. Uh, ain't seen any as long as uh, I live here. He always sides with the white man. Mayor Horn. He ain't nothing but Uncle Tom. Sheriff. That's it. That's all we got to say for right now. Sheriff, Sheriff, can we get more information on the identity? Don't pay him no mind, RC. Well, easy to say. It wasn't said to you. You did good. Oh, bullshit. That was terrible. You guys gonna take this thing over or what? <sighs> we can't say yet. Sounds like no to me. And then we gotta do this regular folks' way, and that starts with talking regular English language. I see, Don't man. Don't understand yeah. one word of this. Here. You okay? Shred. Come with the job. Bro. Hey, That's Walter. Good Billy, to see you. How you doing, man? You out there? No, I heard it on the radio. Oh, some shit storm, I'll tell you. Listen up, y'all. This is Walter Diggles from the Deep East Texas Council of Governors. <laughs> we get stuck with this, we gotta generate some goodwill. Mike Bradford? Yes, I You bet. He's a city boy like some of y'all. Used to live in Dallas. Until he moved back here. RC, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that the uh, we should just give the affidavit of probable cause to all them reporters. Uh, well, what we got to do is get in touch with the Minister's Alliance. Tell them what we know. Yeah, it's important that we're all united. Um, and I hope you don't mind, Billy, but uh, is it OK if uh, Agent Clark, is that right, uh, if, uh, if he comes along? Oh, hell. I think this thing should be wide open. Why ministers, Mr. Mayor? Well, let me put it this way. We got 8,000 people and 40 churches. Can I give you a hint? Stick around. Get some religion. <laughs> Real fast. <laughs> Well, y'all know, that's the forensic stuff. Now y'all know everything that I know. <clears throat> and that's why I believe it's, it should be open, wide open between us. Of course, we ain't gonna go to the press with all this, but shared responsibility. Uh, Sheriff, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this is kind of hard to say. Uh, but before we can uh, uh, do anything you're asking, how do we know that those are all the and I always been straight with you? Gentlemen, what the sheriff has told you is all anyone knows right now. Look here. If you want us just to go along and say there ain't no problem here, well, there ain't no sense in having this meeting. You know, there's a time and place for everything now. Come on. Hold it now, hold it now. It's time to cool things down now. Everybody's got to stick together. You got to go back to your congregation and tell the folks that the law is on the job. Now, don't do nothing foolish. We all. We've got to stick together here. I, uh, I agree with Mayor Horn. All right. Now, we're in a bind here, y'all. Jasper is in trouble. He could go up just like Los Angeles. You hear me? So I need your help. All right? Press time again, R.C.? You do it, man. 
Thank you. Will the men be tried here in Jasper? Actually, we don't know that yet. We're going to do what's best for the case. You're being Are you representing all the people of the town? We all need to give these people a chance now. You know, we know them. They represent us. We live here. It's too early to make a, a judgment. You know, I mean, we got to give time for the system to work. That's all. One more time to beat around the bush. You know what? You need to be a lot more respectful. Somebody just died here today. How Walter, how much time? time? How much time? Doing the best we can. Yeah. Is Jasper a racist town? Now, look, y'all. And what happened on Sunday? And I know it's hard. But there was just three men. And we're not the whole town of Jasper. And we've got a lot of black officials in this town. We've got the mayor. We've got the city council member. We've got the school board superintendent. Hospital administrator. Now, blacks and whites get along here. This is a town about loving each other. Like those men love Mr. Bird. They're looking to crucify us. They come down here looking for rednecks, and they're damn sure going to find them no matter what. And that's why we're going to just keep standing behind him, Billy. That's all. Mm -hmm. You guys know what made this crime federal? What? <clears throat> if they left him right on the church steps, preventing folks their right to worship, but they left him 107 feet from there, they measured it. Now, how close? How close does it have to be? Hi, Billy. Hey. Hey, Buns. Get your time to meet with these fellas. Y'all see them more than I do. How you doing, Jamie? Hi. How's things over in Orange? Whole department's waiting to help you all. Appreciate that. We can use it, I guess. Well, we better leave you two alone. Good night, y'all. Good night. Hey, thanks. Thanks, guys. Well. How you really doing? Can't be worse. You gotta be more careful with the reporters, RC. You don't tell them everything's under control. If it ain't, if you don't know something, just say, I don't know. But I'm the first to say that I don't know what I'm doing, which could be most of the time. I'm just a much I just got lucky and became mayor. I can't do what you do. Everything we each built here is riding on how this comes out. Everyone's watching to see what we do. Yeah. That atrocity shocked the conscience of the country, and a strong response is clearly needed. I ask for your thoughts and your prayers to be with the family of Mr. Byrd today and with the people of that community. How are you feeling? Do you see the future for yourself? Uh, Claire, can you, can you tell me what you think? How are you feeling? Do you see the future for yourself? Mr. Byrd, what would you like to see done to them? That to be punished for what they did. Would you like them to get the death penalty? That's up to the law to decide. But they killed your son. Don't you feel hatred towards them? We angry, yeah. But we don't hate them. What good would it do? No matter what the law decides, this is a test of our faith. We have to keep our faith in God. Mr. Bird, do you, uh, do you blame the town? Hey, you know what? We here? answered enough of your questions, all right? We got to go. Come on. Mr. Bird, Jr. Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird. Come on. Excuse me, please. Mr. Bird, one question? Look, I lived here town. my whole life. Never feared walking the streets. Mr. Bird, Mr. Bird, Mr. Bird would, you, would you agree with people who say that things are tough for uh, blacks here in Jasper? Things are tough for folks all over. Uh, Mr. Bird, Mr. Bird, how do you feel about Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton and the others coming to your son's funeral? My son is dead. I don't want to see his funeral turned into some kind of Move that truck right there, all right? Move it. Now, you know, I've been talking to the governor's office and, and all that concerned about as far as the funeral goes is whether Mr. Gore is going to show up or not. I don't care if Gore shows up or not. Well, he's stay home, but Mr. Bush cares. And that's the only thing going to get him down here or anybody out of his office down here. So we got us a little problem. What's that? You ever met any Black Panthers? Billy, not all black folks know each other. <laughs> <clears throat> well, they're coming into Markham, Houston, according to the FBI. They're planning on patrolling the streets armed. On the day of the funeral. 
Cup of Joe, please. Let's figure out what the hell we're gonna do about it. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I don't want no Panthers around here with guns, period. Well, we could arrest them all, take their guns away, put them in jail for this or that. It's a class A misdemeanor to carry a firearm with intent to cause public alarm. I do not know that that is a good idea. Oh, so we just let them come in here, um, walk around town, protect the community. I'm not saying that either. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Look. Now, now, what if, and I'm not saying this is gonna happen, but what if when we go to, 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 to disarm them and they resist and one of them rifles goes off and shoots one of us, hmm? or worse, shoots one of the kids in the yard? On the other hand, all it takes is one redneck to go and get his gun, shoot someone, because everybody's walking around with their guns, and then we got some serious problems. I have one of the highest, please. So, RC, what do you think we ought to do? Can, can, can we get some help from the state? <laughs> we already asked them. We're not going to be behind this if it means taking their guns away. Well, all we got left is to play some poker. Hope they don't call our bluff. Come on in, Fred. Yeah. You about as nervous as a cat on a griddle. I thought things would be easier. Say a few speeches, cut a few ribbons. Maybe make things a little bit better. I should have listened to y'all, not let them nominate me. I was trying to say I'm a black mayor, Dad. You're the only one folks could agree on. Yeah, right. I'd be the town drunk, a crazy man. If only Mayor Lindsay hadn't retired. Well, he did, and you got it now. What you gonna do? I don't know. I got to represent the whole town, and with that, I can't speak my own mind. People say old man still runs things. Is that what you think, Ricky? Ricky! Come on now, Dad. Is that what you think? What's wrong with you? Move out! Go, 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 go! Y'all can't march in downtown Jasper without a parade permit. And how long is that gonna take? About a week. But you're welcome to march once you got one. We're gonna march today. I know my rights. My constitutional right to assemble. Free assembly. This here is just a courtesy visit to let you know what we're going to do. Well, you know he does have a point about his rights. What if they was to march up here? Would they need a permit? Would they have to have a permit to march up here? In the back streets. No, I don't think so. It'd be all right with the city. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you can't go marching by the church. You, know, you don't want to upset the family in the time of grief. Don't you think that's up to them? They might want to march with us. Let me just make this one last point about the guns. You can march with signs if you want to. You could tell us where we can march, but you can't say nothing about the guns. This here is my NRA membership card. All my people got rights. Brother, come on. We know every comma and period there is in the laws of the state of Texas about carrying guns. And if you country boys, brother, think you're gonna take them from us. You are greatly mistaken. Uh, we have not invited these people here. Uh, so I'm asking uh, all you citizens of, uh, of Jasper to, to stay out the way and stay in your homes and don't interfere in any way. Uh, let them do their thing. Everything is under control. Listening audience, the same thing. These people don't represent Jasper. Right. It's time for us to all pull together and show our character. Let them see exactly, let the world see 
who Jasper really is. And that's, City of Lincoln. That's right. And what, what Reverend said is true. I mean, the whole world is watching us right now. That's right. And they're all looking at us to see what we're going to do, see what kind of people we are here. You know, this is the time for all of us to sort of reach down into our hearts yes, yeah. and all become part of who we are, you know, because this is a very unique community here in Jasper. I mean, you know, none of our surrounding communities, you know, have or would have a, a black mayor. We don't need the Black Panthers to come down here and tell us who we are and, and yeah. what we should do. We yeah. know who we are, so everybody just we keep that in mind. We know who we are. That's right. James Byrd's funeral brought civil rights leaders and politicians from around the country. We're so sorry and we're so pained. We're so hurt that this incident has taken place in 1998. <laughs> That's what we heard on the answer machine. When he got home. RC, you gotta have security. Let us know where you're going, so keep an eye on you. What about Mary? What about the house? Keep it patrolled. It's you I'm worried about. M maybe you ought to go to see your sister, just until this thing calms down, blows over. And leave you here all alone. I stood up in church and swore I was with you for better or worse. I ain't going nowhere. What am I going to do with it? I need a, an honest answer. You think this trial can be uh, done here? Well, Guy James, Yeah. he likes to make deals. Yeah. I don't think he's tried a capital crime since, like, what, uh, 91, 92? And Billy, well, you know, he ain't never been around anything like DNA evidence. Well, I mean, you got the FBI's help. Oh, see, he had to call them in. I mean, a man's head was lying there, and the stores all across the squawk boxes and across the county in no time. He better call in the FBI. Man, I'm not even sure we should be trying this case here. First, it's an awful big case for this office. I only have one investigator. I might could spare you some guys if it comes to that. Well, second of all, it'd be damned expensive. What choice we got? Feds ain't exactly rushing in to take this thing. Hey, maybe they know something. Well, maybe we should tell them we can't afford it, that it'd bankrupt the town. And damn well might. You prepared for that? Well, you want to prosecute it. If you want it, we find the money. You got a good case? It's shaping up, but it's not airtight. I'm not even sure we can make it into capital murder yet. We have to prove two crimes here, not just one. It's tricky. It's risky, too. Keep your hands off! Oh, ain't yours, you hear me, boy? I think you should do it. I see there's one more thing. What if we lose? L.A. after Rodney King. Things could get out of hand. You know, we, we, we got us a good town here. We got some good people. 
You can do it. I know you can. We need to have this trial here for the sake of this town. We need to do something to start some healing. Last night, the popular Washington, D.C. shock jock known as the Grease Man got some of his own medicine from the host and audience of an African-American radio call-in show. How much shock do black people have to take? This appearance was part of an apology campaign by the Grease Man, whose real name is Doug Tract, fired last week after playing part of a song by African-American recording artist Lauren Hill, and then saying, quote, no wonder people dragged them behind trucks. Getting out of control. Absolutely. Absolutely. Matter of fact, I'm going to I am embarrassed to say that I come from Jasper. Yeah, right. Suddenly, we are a symbol for racism. And you saying we don't have any. Well, not anymore than any place else. Yeah, right. And we, and I mean all of us, have to make people know that. Well, yeah, I guess that's yeah. 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 One thing that black folks and white folks do have in common is a belief in God and prayer. Thank you, Jesus. And we need to have us a prayer vigil, not just everybody together. But we need more than that. Mm -hmm. We need to talk. We need to have a dialogue. Yes, so peoples can air their, their, their grievances. No, no, you're not, you have to do that in your own churches. But it would mean more if it came from the city. Well, that's right. We should have a, a, a mayor's task force. We need our mayor to get involved. We get together on this. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Mr. Mayor, it's important. It's important. you have our support. Thanks a lot for doing this for me. R.C., yep. you are the mayor of this town. You got to do something. You can't just sit back and hope this will pass. We have got to do something. That's why I'm asking for this task force. Let people get up and talk. I thought the plan was to keep things calmed down. How will blacks and whites handle it if there's a real disagreement? Some things aren't easily solved. But when you believe in God, they always work themselves out. We are going to put our faith in God. And I'm a strong believer, and I believe most of y'all are too. What a fellowship, what a joy meaning on the everlasting arm. What a blessedness, what a peace of mind, meaning on the everlasting arm. Singing, singing, safe and secure from Everybody seems to be in the spirit. What you do? What's the deal on this task force, RC? Is it going to keep things peaceful or maybe it'll stir things up? Just a damn drug deal gone bad, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, ain't nothing racial about it, talk. What about the trial? It's just like this. It's all for show. Oh, I hope we get things peaceful. Today, the citizens of Jasper joined together in a display of faith and unity in the face of this recent incident. Ben? All in all, this has been a great success. <laughs> be careful now. Don't you be taking credit for the Lord's work. <laughs> Good for the town. Good for the media. And that task force mm -hmm. is going to help, too. Mm -hmm. Jury selection resumes tomorrow in the trial of John William King, the alleged ringleader of the three men who have been accused of this brutal crime. I mean, nothing going to help if things turn out badly. You know, I was sitting in that courtroom, listening to Guy James questioning the perspective of black jurors. And most of them disqualified themselves because they don't believe in the death penalty. That's not exactly a surprise, not the way it's been used against us. Mm. It won't help if we get us an all-white jury. It won't look good. It won't look good at all.
Come on, Claire. Get closer. I love you, Mom. It's for you, Dad. We're going to play some music here. I can dream of a new day. I can dream of a world to come. I can feel it coming my way. Feel it rolling a different way. Oh, yeah. I can dream of a new town. I love you. A time of love and a new rhyme. I can feel it coming my way. See the world in a new way. I can dream, I can dream. That's for mom and dad's anniversary. I love you. I can dream, I can dream. All right. Hey, Billy. You come to bed? I ain't tired yet, Buzz. Oh, Billy, you passed tired a long ways back. He's oh, stiff oh. there. Don't you ever stop doing that. Hey, hey. Oh, Billy, since when? Just a little old toddy, Buns. Help me sleep. Billy, come on now. Talk to me. I just keep thinking, what if I overlook some key piece of evidence? That's the biggest damn deal. I ever thought I'd investigate my whole life. What if I screwed up? Well, don't screw it up. Scott James, did he say anything to you about the jury selection? Not much, actually. Nah. Ain't worried about it. Ain't you? <laughs> Hi. Howdy, Mr. Powell. How y'all doing today? Good Howdy. Fine, there ain't no black jurors. Not yet. Yeah, but those that ain't disqualified themselves, Bill King's lawyer, he keeps striking them off the list. You saying a white jury won't convict him? No, 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 I ain't saying that. I just say, say it don't look right. You know, don't ring right for Jasper. Sends out the wrong kind of signal, you know? Wish I could be one of them jurors. I would not hesitate doing the right thing. And I for an eye. That's what it says in the Bible. Just tell me hey. don't bother. Hey, how you doing? Looking good, man. Thank you. Billy Rose. Was it personal? Did you know him? Oh, it's just because I was white. This wasn't no, I don't like no police look. This was just lumping me with them white folks just because they'd done the murder. That don't happen to me, you know? Hell, I treat everyone equal, Jamie. Don't allow no harassment, no nasty language from my people. This is Billy. You are shitting me. The Klan? They announced they're going to hold a rally at your courthouse. While the trial is going on? And you're just going to let them come here? I mean, here, where, where they just dragged a, a, a black man to his death? They follow the permit process. We can't say no to them. A hell of a lawsuit. Well, you redirected the Panthers, Billy. Couldn't stop him from coming here. 
well, damn it, you better find a way to redirect them, too. There's a clan we're talking about here. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. Uh, stress. Got this in the mail. Join the club. Looks like the same handwriting. Man's been busy. I'll take those. You told your wives. Me neither. Yeah, Jim, well, I know y'all are uncomfortable because he's the one that prosecuted son. It never came in my mind, I see. Now I can tell you. Guy James Gray wants to win this trial. I know this. Can he? Of course he can. Can them boys get convicted here? Look. There ain't gonna be no more turning the other cheek. We're gonna get this right. We're gonna do it the right way. Now, do you know that most of the white folks in Jasper want to see this King kid punished too? And the mother too also. Justice is all we want. You are gonna get it. I'm busy. I swear to you. I said oh, I was busy. I wouldn't interrupt. It wasn't mighty important there. Okay. I'll be right back. I'll see you. Just heard from the FBI. Mm -hmm. The Panthers has issued a statement. They plan on coming back here the same day as the Klan. Begin to understand how Job must have felt. Amen. Now, if I may have a word. Now, a lot of black people feel like they aren't being treated with respect. That's right, my brother. They go to the store and the owners look at them like they're gonna steal something. I put my money in the bank, but there ain't no black people working there. Black man can't get a job selling cars. You gonna get us a job, Mr. Diggles? Are you gonna get us a job? Mr. Nelson, I'm, you know, we can only try to create jobs, try to bring jobs here. Now, you know that. Anybody notice there still ain't no black folks in the Jasper Country Club. That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Were there any whites in your church? Difference is, Miss Nickerson, you can come to my church anytime you want. In fact, I'll get you a front row seat. <laughs> You're a trip, though, you know. <laughs> Gotta go. Bye. You're nervous, honey? Yeah, I guess so. Yes, I am. You're gonna do just fine. You know, I could still be there with you. Bye. Say a little prayer. King around the back. Come on. Here it comes. Okay, hold it up. Here it comes. 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 Here it com
It was them jurists that elected him for The only reason he's on that jury is King's lawyer Steel. ran out of strikes. It was a smart, it was a smart thing to do. A smart thing to no do. No press, please. I said no press. Excuse Nine me. minutes. Hope it ain't the show. Aren't you the guy that said this town's about loving each other? Oh, yeah. Since I want your mind on your business, I'm not gonna remind you about some of the boneheaded things you said. Thanks. <laughs> All right, get back. Back. All right, y'all, moving on out. All right, I appreciate all your cooperation. That's enough. That's enough, I said. Get back there. That's enough. That's enough of that. That's all. Thank y'all. You have the opportunity to observe the body of James Byrd. I did. What professional conclusions did you reach as to the nature of his injuries? There was a massive amount of trauma. The body had separated. I believe it was the one shoulder, I believe it was the left shoulder, and the head was separated and was, uh, it's just my opinion through my experience in my work, that uh, there was a culvert, a cement culvert, that the body appeared to me to have hit that culvert and separated from the head and shoulder. No more questions, Your Honor. I reserve the right to recall the witness. Granted. My apologies, Your Honor. Billy, did you actually take any of this uh, evidence yourself? No, sir, I didn't touch any of it. I marked it, you know, we didn't mess with it. Mm-hmm. Well, were you present when this uh, evidence was taken into your officer's possession? No, I'd gone back to the office. Well, I see. So what you're telling me is that you really have no earthly idea how this evidence was recovered, now do you? No, sir, I don't. I do not. Well, uh, let me ask you this. Were, uh, were you present when the FBI came out and re-examined the scene? At that particular time, we was having so many problems here I had people way smarter than me handling that, and I was tending to other things that I had to tend to. And no further questions, Your Honor. gentlemen of the jury. I'm going to show you some pictures of the body. And they are pretty rough to handle. But they're important evidence. I'd ask you not only to look at them, but to study them some. Billy, I'll ask you if you can identify them. This is detail from the uh, photograph of James Bird's torso laying on Huff Creek Road. Bye. And that was before it was moved, changed, or tampered with in any manner. This is how we found it. And this one. This is a photograph of the full torso. And you can see on the right side of the photograph uh, the missing head and shoulder. Why? 
his pants and underwear. Sheriff, how would you describe that there? The way we see it, uh, they was pulled down like that. He was dragged, and the, the perpetrators those marks around his ankles my opinion again that's from the chain now objection your honor <laughs> move to strike and no chain has been introduced as evidence well, we're going to get to that your honor His lawyer claims that it started in prison when he was attacked by black men. Well, he was different when he came home. He didn't show any signs of it earlier. Lady, I didn't raise him like that. Please, I, I don't have any more Calm to say. Calm down, Calm down. Back off, I said. Now, Mr. King. I said that's enough now, sir. Run. Hold on, back on me. Run, hold This is Billy. Day's coming, you race traitor son, bitch. You better decide which side you're on. Because otherwise, when you turn your back, it's going to We're doing well now. Anybody got anything else to say now? We got it going. Right. Your Honor, uh, it seems to me that, that we are. It's like we're from different cultures, but, but we don't appreciate each other's cultures equally. What we need to be doing is some kind of congregation, fellowship in between the churches is what we need to be doing. Good idea. Good idea. I've Thanks. been searching my heart, asking have I done all I should have. Well, sometimes I didn't stand up for what I know was right. Yeah, well, look, look here. Seems like we always the one be getting arrested. Always the one be, be getting tickets. Well, now, if you're actually breaking the law now. Uh, you know. All young boys are always the ones who get arrested for drugs. Not the white boys. White boys get busted, they get sent home. Uh, all boys end up in jail. Sometimes it's a question of bail, huh? And when we be stopped by the police, they don't treat us with no respect. Uh -uh. I mean, we say one thing and they, they, they drag us off to jail. We should make the police come down here. Yeah. Hear what people have to say. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it might be a better idea if we put together a small group and just go down as a small oh, group of people. No, wait, wait, hold, 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 hold a lot here. Anybody's gonna report anything from the task force now. It's the mayor's job to do that. You understand that? Hey, well, I see. How's it going to your part of the woods? There you got it. What's that? Task force results. A whole lot of complaints. Yeah, pretty thick. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> we don't arrest anybody. Ain't done nothing wrong. Yeah. But the more black people get arrested than whites. That's a problem.
maybe more uh, black folks do commit crimes. They say the officers, they don't treat the black folks the same. That just ain't right. You ever know anybody was arrested, thought they was treated right? I know something terrible has happened here, and it stirred things up in Jasper, but it was them three bastards that did it. Basically, blacks and whites get along here. I mean, basically, things is all right here, right? Wrong. They've just been pretending. They've been pretending all these years. It's all make-believe. Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with Jasper that it. A DuPont coming here with 2,000 Billy, jobs won't kill you. Listen to me. Take care of these complaints here. Now. And by the way, if you finish with that crime scene, they take all of them marks off the road. It's upsetting people. In this letter, to you from prison, he talks about getting tattoos. So far, I've gotten Woody Woodpecker wearing a Klansman uniform, flipping off niggers. Did you see that tattoo? Yes, sir. Did you see one of someone hanging? Yes, sir. How did he describe that? Uh, see my little nigger man hanging from a tree? In this next letter, he talks about joining the Confederate Knights of America, a white supremacist group. Would you read that right there, please? Um, what do you think about niggers and specks? Would you date one, fuck one, and become a race traitor like a lot of those whores in Jasper? Any race traitor bitch should be hung alongside the nigger she fucked. White is right. When you were in prison with Bell, what did he say about taking recruits in an initiation? You gotta do a blood tie to get in. What does it mean to take a black out for initiation? Kill him. Prove your loyalty to your organization. If a black were kidnapped, killed, and that stirred up a race war, would that be a desirable thing? I guess. That's what you want. We, uh, can't help you enforce that buffer zone. With all due respect, why the hell not? They come from a district judge. We don't think the no guns part's enforceable. People have a right to bear arms. What's the attorney general's opinion? I'm not here to give opinions. I'm just here to observe. Observe what? A whole lot of violence? Race war? Only way we'll get involved is if the Panthers resist arrest. So it's our asses on the line if, if we try to take their guns and the whole damn deal blows up? Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for a whole lot of nothing. Well, good luck then. There's one more thing you need to know about. Panthers are kissing their loved ones goodbye, saying it's going to be a real bad scene down here. Hey, Lord, what about me, Lord? I feel like crying, crying to you. It's me, Lord, and I'm on bended knee, Lord. I'm here to ask something of you. Slavery to love that knows not its goal. Take me away from this world so covered in pain. It's just not my
Now, Sheriff, we're not gonna dance that same dance again, are we? Well, pretty much, pretty much. You can march with your guns if you want to, but you got to stay away from the courthouse. You can't keep us from those white devils. We have the right to free assembly. Well, you can assemble if you want to, but you can't have your guns if you do. Oh, there's a something I didn't tell you. There's a buffer zone. The judge set up a buffer zone, no guns in that zone. You just forgot to tell me, huh? Yeah, it slipped my mind. You think you want a slick cracker, don't you? That's illegal. Well, <laughs> don't test me on it, Khalid. Make your choice. Courthouse or guns? That's it. And listen, whichever one you choose, you won't get lonely. I'll be right there near you somewhere. Why don't you issue an order that we can use to get the DPS to help us out if it comes down to arresting people? The governor's not available right now. Hey, look. Besides my own police, all I got here is some game warden volunteers and some mounted patrol from Smith County. Hello? I I'm sorry, sir. Hey, look, can I speak to somebody high up? Now, I'm the most senior assistant here right now, but I'd be happy to pass your message on to my superior. Thank you. We are in our home. You got some words for the people of Jasper this morning. Um, yes, um, well, I, I, I would just like to say to everybody out there in Jasper that, uh, you know, the, the, the Klan does not speak for me or, or for anybody I know. And, you know, I know most of you all out there. And, and, it, and it sure doesn't speak for Jasper, right, Bailey? I mean... Folks, they're just coming here to spread Looks hate. like our guests have arrived. These, these, these nuts, uh, they don't, they don't give a damn about us folks. They're just like so many other outsiders who come here to use this town in our situation. I ain't never seen no KKK up close before. Me either. I don't know if they recognize anyone. These squirrels may be funny looking, Nancy, but make no mistake, their extremist views are the seeds that produce the tragedy which this town is suffering right now. So I say, folks, pay no respect to these guys. Go on your way. That's my advice. Just keep the peace. Go on your way. What you see in front of you yeah. is freedom. Right. And we're going to exercise that freedom whether you like it or not. Yeah. We're here to make all white Aryans proud. A story. Made a deal. Panthers are parading up by New Bethel Baptist. Don't let the Negro race and the Jewish communist media take away your pride, your history. Really here. What? I'll meet you there. Not enough news cameras up by the church for him. Panthers is heading back here for the media. Hey, Billy. Billy. Hey, Kim. As a white area. You know, you may have to wake up to the fact one day that you have to defend yourself. Y'all know the deal. And letting y'all in with them weapons. Then you've got yourself a problem. Y'all ain't coming in here. I got me a judge's order, and I ain't enforcing it. You don't want to go up against us. Damn right I don't. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do whatever I have to do. I got me a plenty of officers. You want me to call them up? Call them.
Shit, this is just what we need. Why are we here? We didn't and sell you all into slavery. You're Get all the town folks out of here quick. Now, come on. And what do they fear? We Christianized you. We rescued you from the land that God gave to Cain. The disease infested, poverty stricken, bongo beaten continent of Africa. I'm here to tell Kill you. Kill all these white devils. Kiss my ass, nigga. Black power. White power. Carol, dude, send them in. Send them all in. seen us through this day somehow. Yeah, amen. Now, you can just see us through this trial. Well, it's like I tell my little leaguers, when the pressure's on, there's some that can hit the ball and some that can't. Y'all did real good. I was so worried about the children listening on the radio. Such ugly language. Well, you know, I consider myself a good guy. Uh, I'm colorblind, but it it upsets me to see mixed race couples. Not that they're together. It's the kids I worry about. It's real hard on on mixed race kids. We just ain't there yet. I don't disagree with you. Wouldn't want my daughter marrying a white boy neither. Who's good? Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Something on your mind? I just don't believe that garbage that KK man was spelling out. What about them Panthers? Kill a white devil. You don't want to see me dead, DRC. I ain't never said nothing like that. Ain't you never said that word, nigga? Hmm? Nigga? Ain't you said that before? Huh? You never said the word honky cracker? Redneck Peckerwood. But he who was without sin cast the first stone. Thank you. 
And in these letters, what did he say was going to happen when he came back here after prison? He said he was going to make himself well known by doing something. But he didn't mention what. Regardless of the outcome of this, we have made history and shall die proudly remembered if need be. Much Aryan love, respect, and honor, my brother in arms, Sig Howe, signed Possum. Now, you intercepted this note when it was being passed between the defendant and the co defendant, Lawrence Russell Brewer. Yes, sir. come from son death, we think that old fence should go. It's a matter of time. It's like the old days still ain't changed. And after what them men did to son, it'd be saying something. If it was a city property, I'd do it right now. Turns out that it's private property with his own board. Who, who's on the board? That's what we're trying to find out right now. Don't worry. We get to it. Now, here you can see the abrasions to the back lateral buttocks and posterior thighs. There's a laceration to the left mid-back and a large ground down area over the sacrum and buttocks, ground down to the lumbar spine. Now there's an obvious difference in the shape of the wounds on the buttocks. What does that tell you? It's my opinion that while being dragged, Mr. Bird was attempting to relieve the pain and injuries he was receiving. <laughs> Uh, dragging was very painful. In my mind, he was trying to relieve the pain by swapping one portion of his body for the other to get relief and to keep his head off the ground. No question in your mind that James Bird Jr. was still alive when he was chained and dragged. No question whatsoever. And the cause of death was when his head and shoulder were ripped off. Yes, he was uh, alive till that time. Thank you. <clears throat> Morris Johnson, Wilson Rogers. I played basketball with him in high school. Right. Quinny, track. Yeah, Robert Quinn, yeah. All good friends. When I was a scoutmaster, I had black kids in my troop. Tell you who you can beat. We ask the Lord to please take care of us, and we thank him and the cook for this beautiful meal. Amen. 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 Yes, Before y'all get uh, busy eating, I've been
or something to you. Especially you young. There's something uh, I forgot, or maybe I didn't want to remember. But uh, about uh, 30 years ago, your cousin Leroy, my sister Norville's son, by the police, came to his house, pulled him out of bed, and accused him of fooling around with some, some white woman. Stop it! You so much as look at a white girl, you be dead, you hear me, boy? Stay out there! And they beat him. Hear me! Stay there! They beat him bad. When I went to the hospital, broke down and cried. His face was uh, so swollen that uh, it looked like uh, jelly. When I asked Norbert to do something, press some charges. She said, uh, No. We have we to live here. We can't we'll cause, cause no them. trouble. We just, we just gotta, gotta let, it, let go. it go. Now, I haven't thought about that in a long time. It's dangerous to forget. It's dangerous to remember. Because then, you've got to do something. You know, it ain't city property, so it really ain't none of your business. But it affects Jasper both in terms of appearance and actuality. Uh, gentlemen, we're simply here to ask you to look into your hearts and uh, do what you know is right. With just cow fence, just to keep the cattle out. Then the uh, colored started burying on the other side of it. So I really don't get the problem. But it, it, it's a symbol, sir. It's, a, it's insulting. It's halfway down anyhow. It don't mean nothing. But it is still keeping the two sides apart. It's the way it's always been. But that don't mean it's right. Could you tell me what difference it makes to a dead person? It ain't for the dead. It's for the living. We'll, uh, we'll talk with the rest of the board and we'll, we'll let you all know. by the dragging death of James Byrd Jr. in Jasper will not come to the floor for a vote in this legislative session. In Austin... In other news, earlier today, the Reverend Jesse Jackson issued his own statement. All right, I'll see y'all Saturday, boys. Thank you, Charlie. Make her easy. Air conditioning, nothing like a hardware store on a hot day. <clears throat> Cut that right. How you doing? Inventory's a bitch, ain't it? Yeah. All you gotta count is bullets. Hey, Bo. You got lots of black customers, don't you? Sell to anybody who buy. You know, they've been having these meetings, and they was wishing there was more blacks working in the stores where they buy. 
What, does he not hire somebody on account of their blast? No, of course not. No, I ain't. Just saying if there was someone qualified that you should give him a shot. Shoot, Billy. You working for the Chamber of Commerce all of a sudden? Oh, oh Lord, no. <laughs> Nah, you just stick to sheriff, you know? Yeah, but I know you pretty good, Bo. What if you had all your money in a bank where there's no white people working? Think about that, will you, partner? And I'll catch you up later. All right. You take good care now. I'm going back out into it now. Keep your head down. Has the jury reached its verdict? Yes, we have, Your Honor. Pass to the bailiff, please. <clears throat> the defendant will rise. How do you find? We, the jury, find the defendant. Guilty. Yes. Captain Murray. Will you all sit her down, please? Order. I will have order in this court. Hush up now. Good job. Hearings on the sentencing will begin at 9 tomorrow. The court is adjourned for the day. I wanted to talk before, but didn't feel right that we got to this point in the trial. I come to apologize on behalf of my family. I don't know how a boy I raised could come to this, to take a life, how he could find himself to Not the way I read. It hurts me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. You could. Raise them, but once they get grown, they on their own. It's not your fault what happened. Thank you. Does another man lost his son? Mr. King, would you stand, please?
based on the jury's findings, I hereby sentence you to death by lethal injection. and the media hadn't been around here, he for damn sure wouldn't be going off the death row now. Mayor Horn, do you have any comment? Y'all gonna believe what you want, no matter what. R.C.? R.C. Yeah. Have a word? Mm -hmm. uh, we've been uh, talking to the committee about that fence and... Uh, to go, Russell Brewer and Sean Ellen Barry. So the story is far from over. And as a strange footnote to the events here in Jasper, there's been a citywide referendum to end the salary for the mayor and the city council. It oh, passed. Man, that hurts Mostly so bad. along racial lines, with white districts voting to end it, black districts I voting against. Some people blame the local economy, where the unemployment rate has risen to over 12%. From the courthouse in Jasper, Texas, this is Kara Walsh for KNPS. went by the house, and the mayor told me he was out. Thanks for cleaning all this up. I heard about the results. That's some bullshit. Take away your stipend. Wasn't that much to begin with. They took the council's money, too. And just take it. The town's losing money. Can't hardly pay our bills. Being gracious. That's huge. You want one of these? After all this town's been through. No. Thing ain't gonna happen overnight. You got it? And these people are talking to each other, listening to each other. Keep your eye on the prize. Somebody once said, you know that damn thing hardly didn't pass? Lots of whites voted against it. Probably more than would have before. Still stinks. Least ways. We ain't pretending no more. Like that cigar? It's good. 